about it? Any final comments? Final? We just began. <laughs> <laughs> so just started. Just started. Okay, seriously, we we um, I, I wonder a little bit about uh, the history of Susperia. You've been playing um, this band now for yeah. It's been close to ten years. Go down. We're getting older. It so. is actually ten years uh, since the de first demo. Ninety-nine. We started out and. Uh, it's the same lineup, same same people after ten years, and it's been a roller coaster, you might say. In which way? Paul, tell them. <laughs> Being in a band is like having a close family around you, you know, twenty-four hours a day. So we have our issues and differences and fights and hugs and kisses and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it goes up and down. It's. Uh, very unique thing to be in a band. It's very cool and nice, and you feel the, the strong bond, you know. But other uh, things can be hard, you know, because you're so dependent on each other. You have to, you have to always be there and, and do your part in the band. And it's a commitment. And uh, we have feelings. We're just normal human beings, and we can, you know, come to a clash sometimes, like any other relationship, you know. But it's like we, being we, married, huh? We work it through instead of just arguing too much and kicking each other out of the band and in and out. We just try to stick together. And you kind of use that energy to, okay, the creative process increase it and to develop the, the, the sound, the, everything of Suspera. You use the energy when you are arguing and everything, making it. The strangest thing is that it, it, it actually reflects on the product. Because, you know, Prior to prior to the Cut from Stone album, we had a down period. We had our issues, and we had some fights, and it was a depressive time in the band. And this comes to show on the album. It's a fucking sad album with dark, melancholic sounds and, and, and songs and lyrics, and it's just a it has a bad vibe, you know. When I listen to it today, but it's still cool. But this time around, everything is perfect. We're we're just flowing on this positive energy wave now and that again reflects on the coming album because it's full of totally different songs with much more positive energy if I can call it something like that. When it comes to like music writing I think if you ask Cyrus about it because it's, it's quite funny I, I can tell by the way he makes music if he's in a good mood, bad mood, <laughs> been really angry with somebody or it's like just just tell them I mean yeah, I don't have any plans when I'm making the songs. I just make them and hopefully the guys will like it. <laughs> it's all in the moods, isn't it? Yeah. yeah but there's still, still, you have to consider, at least I, I'm not a musician, but I, the way I picture things is like, I know that a lot of musicians say that they, it just floats, they, it just comes. Mm. But it has to come from somewhere, even. Like, from the whole being angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From beyond the grave. Yeah. yeah. Dark, evil, of, of course, everything comes from a state of mind. I can be totally pissed one day, but I still can't write write anything on a piece of paper. It just doesn't work. My hand just stands still. It, no, nothing comes out. But I want to relieve my head of stress and, and frustration, but nothing comes out. And the next day I can be pissed because of something else, and then my hand just goes crazy and I get all the shit out. You know, all depends on the mood, and I guess that's how it is with, with the actual songwriting as well. All depends. See. If he wants to make a song, it's based on maybe some inspiration, whether it's good or bad. He just wants to sit down and fuck, I want to make a song now. Yeah? It's all about the state of mind you're in then. And, and when the other guys come in and put their... Energy into it. Yeah, their touch into it. That's how a song is molded and, and born. You know? mm. and, and it's quite hard actually to be like five different people yeah. in a band. And you sit down and it's like... He has his vision about the song. He got his vision. I got mine. And you know, Elvin got his. And you sit down, and I'm a, for instance, I'm in a really good mood. He, he's been pissed. He's making a really angry song, and I'm coming with a bass line that is happy. If you know what I mean about that, it's not actually easy for me then to convince him to like, okay, but listen, this, this, and this, and this might work. It's like, yeah, but I have this vision, and to be able to how to put it, uh, make compromises. That is something that Suspera is now 
very very good at mm. uh, and that I guess is why we stick, stick together for so long and haven't changed the lineup because like in other bands you got I'm the boss you do as I say and if you don't like it fuck off yeah but that is not what despair is all about and that's brilliant so but still you have one main writer yeah definitely <laughs> well yeah just make the songs and it's like a fucking machine <laughs> it's all on you yeah it's like <laughs> I'm losing up I mean as I not said this like I give the songs to them and feel free to do whatever you want it. I mean, it's uh, very open. <laughs> we're very open-minded uh, when it comes to the yeah creative process. In the beginning of Suspira, everything was very much 100% me. <laughs> but uh, now it's totally opposite. So I make the songs and we just start to listen to the riffs and put everything together. And yeah. Things change. As you said just now, in the beginning it was like, you made 10 songs, it goes with the album, you know? Now, it, it's more like, you try this song, ah, fuck it, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, take this and this, put it all together, so it's much more worked through now, and it, you know, we test everything to the bone before it actually comes from the album, you know, we throw away a lot of stuff. You know? yeah. Well, earlier you just wrote and then, okay, we got things, this is it, this is no it. arguments, <laughs> there we go, Yes. but, but the, like, okay, let's compare the beginning until now, like the way you, uh, when you write your own music, do you look upon it as this is maybe a bit uh, shallow or something? But do you, do you kind of like this is my baby, this is my child, That's and the, the others are not coming, going to tell me what? No, absolutely. But not. how do you how did you view yourself? In the beginning, it was beginning? Uh, all about uh, we get a uh, record deal with Nuclear Blast, and everything was yeah. really cool, and I was like uh, nervous that this could be really bad or it could be really good so that's the reason I was like this is the songs this is how it's going to be just do it <laughs> and I'm glad it's not that uh, what is it it's, I'm not it's more inspirational yeah. to get feedback from the others yeah, in a yeah, different yeah, way much, much more because uh, I don't write music alone anymore I'm making the riffs and put them together but I always need them around yeah mm. Because uh, it's hard when you have done this for so many years. It's, uh, <coughs> you don't want to do it alone. You don't. You want to have the yeah. guys in the band with you when you're creating the songs. And he just pumps out all these sperm cells, and the band is the <laughs> the band is the egg, you know. And oh, oh, cells. I, that was disgusting. <laughs> I thought you were saying, and the band pick it picks them. <laughs> uh, like, uh, no, no, we just leave no, that. It's, it's all. Yeah. So it's philosophy. philosophy. Metaphorically, yeah. It all just comes together and it's mm. just born in the yeah. the actual disc, the actual album is the baby. You know? <laughs> Everything that comes in ahead of that is ours burn songs, you know. <laughs> okay. Metaphorically speaking. Yeah.